What's good, Hurrich fam, man? It's your boy, Hurrich Credit, back at here again with another fucking banger, man. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie, I'm about to go to sleep right now, man. It is fucking late. Um, it's 2 in the morning right now, man, but fuck it. Uh, I haven't gotten no sleep, so I'm probably gonna only sleep for like three three hours, bro. But it's all good, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. We still gotta record. <laughs> all right, look, y'all, man. I did write down some notes right now, late night. Uh, well, morning. Let's call it morning. I did write down some notes right now with uh, Unified Financial Credit Union just so I can include all the data points that y'all want to know before y'all go with this credit union, man. Just so y'all can know how to move with this credit union, okay? I want y'all to know the ins and outs of, you know, how to move with certain institutions that you want to apply for some funding, okay? So, uh, Unified Credit Union, man, Unified Federal Credit Union, man, they have branch locations all around the U.S., but um, they're located, you know, in California. That's where, like, they mainly branch that. So, that's, you know, a good data point to know. If you're in Cali, you might run across a lot of Unified Federal Credit Union branches. And also, too, uh, open membership to everybody, so no restrictions, just like Navy Fed. Uh, with Navy Fed, on the other hand, you know, you have to have a family member that's in the military. You could bypass that, though. Y'all know my backdoor method. But, you know, no restrictions with Unified Federal Credit Union, man. So, open to everybody. And also, too, no hard pull for membership. So, if you try to join, you won't get a hard pull. But, with this credit union, you can still double dip. Right? A lot of y'all thinking, like, I recently seen y'all comments, and a lot of y'all think that double dip is it only works if the institution hard pulls for membership right off right off when you join no so the way it works is it can be too for membership like if they hard pull for membership you could use that same hard inquiry for 30 days right but also too let's say they don't hard pull for membership but they will hard pull for your first credit card application that will be a hard pull and you could still do the double dip for 30 days okay so that's how double dip works. It doesn't only work with just an institution that hard pulls for membership. So they don't hard pull for membership and they allow double dipping for 30 days. You can use that same hard pull for 30 days for other, you know, credit applications like a personal loan, a line of credit, and you won't get an additional hard pull. This is why credit unions is the sauce, man. Like I always explain in my videos, big bank institutions. You apply for a credit card a day, hard pull. You apply for another product, hard pull. Okay, so that's the benefit with credit unions, man. Uh, what else? No hard pull for membership. I already said that. Allow double dipping for 30 days. Yep. And also, too, Unified Federal Credit Union <laughs> is known for pulling your Experian credit report. And this is very common. Most institutions are going to pull your Experian. Most lenders are going to pull your Experian. So y'all got to keep your Experian credit report up to par, okay? Um, it's very important to keep your Experian credit report up to par. That's where all these lenders pull from. Capital One, TAP, um, Amex, FMBO, Unified Federal Credit Union, like I just explained. Um, who else? BOA. Like all these institutions pull from your Experian credit report. There's only a certain amount of institutions that pull from TransUnion and Equifax, okay? So keep y'all experience up to part. What else? Oh, yep. They do ask for proof of income on credit card applications, okay? Mostly all credit unions, man, they will ask for proof of income. There's certain amounts that won't. But Unify is one of those institutions, just like a line credit union, that will ask for proof of income. So... If you don't have the proof of income to, prov to provide, then I don't recommend going with this credit union. But if you do, you know, you could back up what the fuck you say. Then go for this Unified Federal Credit Union swipes, man. I'm about to break down the swipes right now in a little bit on uh, what they go up to. But you can override that if you build a strong relationship with that institution. So if you build this a strong relationship with this in institution, there may be a chance you avoid proof of income on credit card applications. But remember, it is not guaranteed. Okay. Where's the credit cards at? <clears throat> uh, let's look at the credit cards. Okay. So they do have a Visa Engage Rewards. 
as you can see the credit limit starts up to 50k so that's the max credit limit you could get on a personal side with unify 50k a quick tip you a unify doesn't offer you know business products they're strictly only only consumer uh cards man so it's going to be straight personal credit so the highest limit on a credit card is 50k with this visa engage reward rewards and they got a visa platinum 50k as well they got a visa gold here uh up to 15k basically and the classic card goes up to 5k the good thing about these cars though uh they don't have no annual fees so that's pretty good and what else that's basically it they got a secure card too which i didn't know so you know if you knew the credit man you could build a strong relationship with unify with that secure card and eventually get an unsecured card that you know you could get a limit that goes up to 50k okay i recommend having deposits going in your you know checking account if you want to build a relationship with them and also to get that little secure card if that's the only thing you could pre-qualify for well they don't pre-qualify you but you'll understand your range you get what i'm saying if you only get approved for secure cards all around the board most likely this institution will only you know approve you for the secure card so that's a good data point to know what else am i uh, not including oh yeah they personal loans so they personal loans is like the same thing 50k as well where's the personal loans there you go give me a second y'all Mm -hmm. yep as you can see it tells you right here loan amounts from 500 to 50k most institutions they always got a personal loan that goes up to 50k i already told y'all first tech uh we broke down the line yesterday they go up to 50k as well and unified now so 50k as well uh, i'm pretty sure the signature line of credit is 50k as well as you can see i'm always correct 1500 and then up to 50k so low variable rates low minimum payments only pay interest on the amount used uh you know because it's revolving take advantage of a 0.25 rate discount so that's the good thing about lines of credit that's what y'all gotta understand with lines of credit they are revolving like revolving credit cards that's why they are very game changer that's why lines of credit are better than personal credit cards and they're better than personal loans in my opinion some of y'all might like personal loans but on that personal loan you have to start paying immediately okay on lines of credit um if you don't have an idea of what to use it for you don't have to use it and you won't have to make them payments you get what i'm saying and also too since it's revolving you don't have to reapply you could just reuse it you get what i'm saying with a personal loan you're gonna have to uh once you use that personal loan you're gonna have to apply again okay so you gotta go through that whole process but a line of credit is revolving okay that's the that's why lines of credit are very game changers revolving like credit cards but let's say lines of credit are better than personal loans but they're better than, than credit cards as well but it's very game changer i just want y'all to know the difference between a personal loan and a line of credit always go for that line of credit i'm telling y'all it's way better than a personal loan that's what y'all gotta understand okay so it's a little data point for y'all 50k line of credit already did that and lastly don't offer business products I already said that so wait business services they probably updated hold on mm. so they got a business savings business checkings ppp loans commercial real estate loans but yeah don't don't offer business products like personal i mean business credit cards okay so there you go these are the data points for unify financial credit union um just so y'all can know how to move with this certain institution before you apply for some funding with them so uh this is a very good credit union if you can provide that proof of income like i said i love credit unions that allow double dipping because you could take advantage of that start running some plays because you can max out the amount of funding you get with that certain institution with avoiding multiple hard pulls okay that's the very game changer the only thing is what i want y'all to know is every institution caps you out at a certain amount of credit that they will extend to you okay so like i said in my past videos 
if that institution is only willing to give you 40k let's say you go for a credit card with them 30k is the uh let's say you get 30k off that credit card now you have 10k available for another product that's how these institutions move there's a certain amount of cap that they will extend to you okay so that's basically it for the day of uh, her rich fan man we growing fast bro do y'all have y'all seen that shit we growing fast man shout out my hood rich fan man we building a strong community that's what i'm trying to do build a strong community you get what i'm saying i'm dropping the merch too look i got the merch on right now i'm dropping that shit i ain't gonna lie to y'all but i'm i will edit like the hand in the back um i took one of my viewers advice he said just make it a little original man because it looks like a little clip art so on the hand i'm gonna try to edit it a little bit i'm gonna try to put like cuban links like uh dangling or some shit right like an ap watch some shit just make it look you know fly as fuck you know because we always get fly so um yeah man appreciate the community man this shit building quick y'all we was at 5k yesterday we had 6.2k right now so we building fast man um but yeah man her rich fam i just wanted to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart I i'm not the type of person to open up a lot man i'm not the type of person to show my appreciation i'm not gonna lie to y'all man i don't really like opening up um but real deal man real deal i appreciate y'all man if y'all met me in real life i'm very quiet i'm not and not because i'm nervous i'm not nervous it's just i'm very calculated okay so i like to observe the room before i talk so on my videos this is like the most i'll talk I'm telling y'all, like, this is where y'all see my inside personality. But outside, I'm very, you know, very serious person. Uh, very calm. You, you get what I'm saying? So, I appreciate y'all, okay? I'm a little vulnerable with y'all. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But, yeah, that's all I wanted to say today, Hood Rich fan. Y'all have a good day to Hood Rich way. Go on.